Well, Dean, got a new shipment of T-shirts come in. I know, I can see that, Norm. Look at me, Led Zeppelin, 1977 in California. And in actual fact, Norm, that was just a couple of years after we got married. It was, a long time ago. <laughs> yes, it was. So what are we talking about today, Teen? Retirement myths busted. We're Teen and Norm, and we talk all things retirement, but we are not financial planners, and you'd be crazy to take financial advice from us. We're just relaying the stories that we find out as we progress on this retirement journey. So, retirement myths busted. What do we have for the first one, Teen? Oh, that's a biggie, Norm. That has to be that you need a million dollars to retire. <laughs> because if that was true, we wouldn't have retired, would we? Not at all. <laughs> the number one thing uh, that uh, people want you to have a million dollar fund for are the financial services salespeople so they can earn the commission on it. Have you ever had a million dollars in your life? And what makes you think you're going to have a million in retirement? The way that we get around this is, once again, get the paper and pencil out, your calculator, and find out how much your government pensions are going to be, what the state pensions in your country is going to be. So in Canada, if you worked, you're going to get CPP, which is a, a, an employee-employer contributed fund. You're also going to get OAS at 60 years old. And in the US, the Social Security, which you can get from about 62 onwards, or you can leave it to you 70. Same in England, old age pension. Find out how much those are going to be based on your contributions over your working life. Do a budget. How much do you need to live on per month? How much is the maintenance on your home going to cost you? The electricity, property tax, insurance, rent. And then you can start deducting your state pensions from that amount. And then whatever's left, if it doesn't cover it, is what you're going to have to find through capital giving you either interest, dividends, or are you just going to draw it down? What do you think, Tim? I think that's a great idea. And I think another of the biggest myths, Norm, has to be that you have to wait until you're 65 to retire. Oh, yeah. You've got to be old. Because you know what? Had we waited till you were 65, we'd have lost all that time of traveling that we did when we moved down here. Oh my, and those were 12 cruises, finding Portugal oh. for three years, um, doing wonderful things, going down yeah. to the US, uh, enjoying all these different experiences. Just wonderful. So that is a huge myth, isn't it? But the number one thing that you really need to equate at this 65 years of age is you're going to be at your healthiest. We keep banging this drum, I understand that. But it's true. The, the early years of retirement are the best years from a health point of view because you don't know what's going to crop up down the road. So, yeah, retire at 65, retire at 55, if, if the numbers make sense, and enjoy the health that you have. Don't sacrifice that to an employer. When we travel, we always try and protect ourselves greatly. And oftentimes, we're, we're finding ourselves in airports, restaurants, we're away from home. So those internet uh, networks that you log on to are unprotected. They don't have passwords. And the one big problem with it is there are bad people in the world. And there are people who are trying to hack you. Cybersecurity isn't just governments over there. It, it can be aimed at you. And one of the biggest uh, problems is man-in-the-middle attacks. So you might be in Starbucks, or you might be in a restaurant, or you could be in Costco. They have free Wi-Fi. And you don't know who else is in that store. And are they looking to hack you 
and get in between you and the website that you're trying to access. So there's only one solution that we've come up with for that. And that is to use NordVPN. And we put that on all our items. They're on our iPhones, they're on our iPads, they're on our MacBook Pro, and we're protected. So mm -hmm. the man in the middle attack can't get at you through the VPN because the VPN gives a specific key to your internet traffic and they don't have uh, the site that will accept that. So the VPN and especially NordVPN encrypts all your internet traffic so nobody can see it. Your internet service provider can't see it. Your, your government can't see it. And so it keeps you very safe and mm -hmm. secure. And that's why we have NordVPN as our VPN. And when we're going to be in Portugal this year, yeah. we'll be using it. Absolutely, we will. Hey, and I think the beauty is, Norm, that we can have up to six devices on it too at one go. On the basic account. Yeah, and which is great. NordVPN yeah. is going to give you a special yeah. deal. If you use our link that's on the screen yeah. right now, you will get that special offer from NordVPN. So, thanks NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Number 18. I think that's got to be about the age that you can take CPP. There is so much um, out there about what age you should take it, isn't it, Norm? Whether it's 60, 65 or 70. That's very true, Teen. And we took it at 60 because yeah. we just, we'd paid into it all these years and we wanted our money back and we weren't willing to wait. Okay, you, you're going to earn up to 40% more when you get to 70. But does everybody get to 70? You have to wait till 74 to break even with the people at 60 and 65 taking it. Are you going to... How many years past 74 are you going to get? Um, and so we decided to take that. In the US, you can take it at 62 if your birthday was up to 1954. And then they had months to it. So if you were my age in the US, 1955 baby, you'd be 62 and two months. And then you can claim it early. But once again, you give up some of the um, increases that if you left it. Um, but we were just comfortable taking it, investing it, buying bank stocks, dividend stocks, and reinvesting it all. So even though we miss out on 8% per annum growth every year you defer it, we were getting around 8 to 10% on our investments through dividends and uh, share growth in the Canadian banks. Another myth, myth busted, 18, that made a jump. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't ready for that, no. Busted. <laughs> what do we got, Tane? Ooh, I think this is another biggie. Don't be put off retirement. <sighs> don't just, don't keep leaving it because one of the biggest things that can affect you with we've spoken about this before, is your health. And your health does change as you get older, doesn't it, Norm? It really does. And, mm -hmm. and, and we can counter every yeah. argument that yeah. you can throw at us. Yeah. We get that in the comment section all the time. So if you have a really yeah. good one, leave the comment down yeah. below and we'll answer that. But basically, if you're putting off retirement because you don't have enough money, fair comment. But will you ever have enough money? Can you earn yeah. enough money? So why don't you just do the budgeting, sit down with the calculator and live on what you can afford? Are you going to throw your good health away, the best years of retirement for money? If you haven't saved it yeah. at the time of being 60 or 65, you're never going to. So try and just make do. And that's what we do. Yeah, I, th I think that's great advice, Norm. And we pay all our bills from the pensions we get yep. from governments. So we pay it, our rent, 
uh, our, our food, yeah. uh, our gas, our car insurance, it all comes out of our CPP and OAS and the British old age pension that we get because we only get half pensions in Canada yeah. and we get a half pension from England making a full one for all the years that we've worked. So don't put off retirement. You'll never have enough money if, if that's your problem. So that's another myth exploded. <laughs> wow, we're going through these like fireworks, eh, you Norm? <laughs> you will. One of the biggest myths is you lose your identity in retirement. Mm -hmm. You were a sales rep. You were a cruise ship captain. You were a rocket science brain surgeon. You were a, a store clerk. Yeah, you lose that job title. And you know what? In retirement, you lose all those friends from that workplace because they're not friends, they're work colleagues. Mm -hmm. In retirement, you will find a brand new identity and that identity is you. My identity, I discovered Norm. And I discovered Teen. So yes, you will lose your job title, yeah. but that doesn't mean you lose your identity. You have all the experience of work you have all that richness and you will just become a better person because you can spend time on yourself. And I think another thing too, Norm, is people underestimate the freedom that you get about not having to set up alarm clocks, being able to decide what you want to do today and when you want to do it, not when you have to do it to please somebody else. You just have to please yourselves. It's great. And you're not having no. to drive in wintry driving oh. conditions, snow, sleet, freezing rain. Oh, Whenever yes. we look out the window and th those conditions yeah. are outside, you know what? We don't drive anywhere. We, we, don't. <laughs> we stay home. We stay home and um, we can go swimming and we can go to the gym down here and we don't even have to leave the building, which is awesome. Money running out before oh. you run out of life. It's a huge mm, fear. It is, isn't it? But it's easily conquered. Yes. Get the pen and paper out. And do that budget. <laughs> That's it, Norm's favorite. It's the only way to find out whether you can make the numbers work. And so, once again, find out what those government pensions are, find out what your expenses are, and find out if you have any shortfall and make amends to your budget for that. Don't, I, don't be going out and just blowing all your money in the first year of retirement on Lexus SUVs. Yeah. Oh, and like 10-day um, cruises around Greenland, you know. Yeah, 20, 20 <laughs> yeah. Odd grand. Yeah, like don't be doing all that in your first year sort of pace yourself. Exactly. So there's, there's another myth. Myth busted. <laughs> Like this myths busted norm. So Dean. <laughs> I think another one has to be fear of retirement. This is such a big title that people all over fear. And do you know what? The fear is actually worse than actually doing it, isn't it? It's just, it, it, it's just like going to the dentist. You, you've got your toothache and you're thinking, uh, I've, I've made an appointment and yeah. uh, tomorrow morning I'm going to get it drilled and filled. And I'm nervous. I'm scared. I hate the dentist. Or you're on a big diving board and you have to jump off. The thought of doing it is worse than actually doing it. After yeah. you've had your filling yeah. done, the tooth's better, the ache's gone away. You come home, the anaesthetic wears off, and you think, what the hell was I worried about? I, I, think that's I survived. The, I think that's the same with retirement, isn't it, Norm? Pe totally, People Tina. can get all so wrapped up and stressed about, oh, we're not going to be able to do it and everything. That's worse than just giving yourself a plan when you're going to do it, stop, move over and do it, and you'll realize that that fear just drifts away. It like, really does. Like Nike says, just do it. Yeah, totally agree with that one, Norm. So we hope everybody is keeping well. And staying safe. And until the next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.